What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to Assassin's Creed 3. We're back like we never left. I have been doing some off-screen grinding, just picking up all the almanacs, um, reading a lot of the updated bios and such. I'm really having a great time with this game and just reading all of those off-screen and just collecting all the history that I can. And on top of that, I went into the underground and I got all these fast travel points. I forgot that that was even a thing, <laughs> but it's a thing. So now that we have the fast travel points all here in Boston, I'm very happy. I also picked up a few in the frontier here, which was kind of nice. Um, I think there's a couple more that I can pick up, but there was also some forts that I liberated and whatnot. And that kind of helps you with fast travel points too. Um, what we need to do is we need to go to the main mission though, which is, is it here? Is in the frontier? Yeah, it is right here. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna go here then. But yeah, I've just been trying to understand the game as much as possible. This game is one of those games that like, it tells you, like it introduces you to a lot of new mechanics, but it doesn't really like force you to use them. So you kind of have to go out of your way to go find them and use them yourself. You know what I mean? Cause like the fast travel thing, I pretty much went through like half of this game not even remembering that I could go into the underground. And I was like, wait, I should go do that so I can have more fast travel points. And then boom, now we have them. And then also the assassination contracts here. I forgot all about this for a while, but they're here, you know? So you can send your goons out, your assassin recruits. I should actually do that right now real quick. Let me send them out here. I only have two right now. I could get another one, but I've been lazy. So I'm going to take my two here and send them out on a mission. Yay. Go make me some money. All right, let's go do the main mission. Okay, here we are. Who is that up ahead? Hold and state your business. American soldier. Well, hi there, buddy. Hold on, put the gun down. I want of you. I'm an American. I'm looking for Israel Putnam. On whose orders? Samuel Adams. Let me through. Ugh, why are you staring at me like that? Let me through. Okay. Follow me. You ain't got a mean mug me though. It's not Bunker Hill. Aye, it's Briggs. There's been some disagreement as to where we should encamp. Any news what? from Boston? The Tories aren't moving. And any time we try to press them, we lose a dozen men. I think Putnam and the others plan to assemble artillery on these hills. A good shelling might make the Red Coast rethink their strategy. And what of John Pitcairn? That bastard's the cagiest of the bunch. He's Whoa. Time time you could hear the cannons. He'll send regards by way of cannon fire. It's all right, though. He'll have what's coming to him soon enough. Oh, look at this. It's so bright, but it looks kind of cool. All right, I wanted to read that entry real quick. Let me go to the Animus. Recent entries. Battle of Bunker Hill. Bunker Hill was one of the first battles of the Revolutionary War. Technically, the rebels lost, but it was a Pyrrhic victory for the British. Let me set this up a bit. There were two places where rebel forces would have been able to mount attacks on British occupied Boston. One was the Charleston Peninsula to the north. The other was Dorchester Heights to the south. When rumors started that the British were going to fortify the hills around Charlestown, the rebels decided to act. By which I mean do something, not put on a little play. Okay. On the night of June 16th, 1775, troops under the command of William Prescott sneaked in onto the peninsula occupied Bunker Hill and built fortifications on Breed's Hill. It was a tactically terrible choice. Breed's Hill was easier for enemies to climb, much more open to attack, and close enough to the British ships in the harbor to come under fire. Oh, they were screwed. Yeah, that was not a good place to build a camp at all. In fact, Prescott's orders were to fortify Bunker Hill. It's uncertain why he made the switch. Maybe he had trouble with B words like Bunker and Breed's. Oh my gosh. He probably thought he was fighting against the Belgians, not the Brits. All right, Sean. Fortunately for the rebel army, it seemed the British were almost as tactically inept as they were. When General Howe landed troops at Moulton's Hill, he waited for reinforcements rather than attacking immediately. This gave the rebel forces time to shore up their fortifications. When Howe finally did attack, he divided his forces, 
expecting the disorganized rebel army to fall before him, which it didn't. In fact, the British forces attacked and retreated twice before winning the day after they had received more reinforcements and the rebels were mostly out of ammunition. The casualty reports are telling. 228 British soldiers dead, including many of their officers, and more than 800 injured. On the rebel side, 301 injuries and 140 deaths. The Continental Army had shown that they could hold their own against the better trained British Army. And it's hard to say which side was more surprised by that. It still surprises me to this day. You know, not all of these, but some of these entries makes it sound like Sean is upset that the Americans rebelled against the British. I don't know. He kind of gives that off a little bit. Oh. Oh, this is cool. You guys hear that? Bro, they did so good with the sounds. The sound design is awesome here. Oh my god, he's going in! Whoa! Oh my god, the Willem scream! Ah! I'm my case. I'm going back to Bunker Hill. Good morning, gentlemen. General Putnam. What, what are you doing? I'm looking for John Hickman. I was told you'd be able to help me find him. He's stuck away inside that city with no reason to leave. As long as that ship continues, it's assault. We'll never flush him out. But if the ship was silenced... Oh, that's to get off his arse and come forward. I shall fly this flag to signal my success. And I shall speak fondly of you at your funeral. What the heck? This general sucks! Hey, give me that flag. Let me, let me go to work. Bro, what in the world? They were just standing there as cannonballs were blowing up all around them. Without taking damage? Is that possible? Holy. There's cannons. Ah! Oh my god! Whoa! Oh! Holy sh! Ah! I'm getting rained on! Yeah, we failed that objective real quick. Dude, this is freaking awesome, though. <laughs> this is cool. It's so immersive. Hope I don't eat a cannonball. Hold on. Oh, that one was really close. All right, let's see if we can sneak around them. Oh, look at that. How come these destructible environments are better than battlefields? go that way. Nice. Ow! What the? F How did that thing nail me? It's like they fired directly at me. Air assassinate a grenadier. Remain undetected while on board of ships. Whoa. Dude. This is awesome. And they're not going to see me. Oh, maybe they will. No, I, I snuck past them. Nice. Okay, so he's like... Should I assassinate these guys right here? Yeah, let's do it. 
Oh. Well, I didn't get him. But that's okay. That was really cool. Uh. Yeah, get this guy. Nice. Come on. You're doing great. You're doing great. Okay, you're doing horrible. Don't let him. Ah! Dude, stop. Die. Every time I break his defense, his little buddies hit me. Disarm him. Yes. There you go. Yes, Connor. Woo! That's what you get for wearing a skirt, sir. I thought the whole ship was going to blow up. That wasn't that bad. I have nothing against men in skirts, by the way. I hope nobody thinks that. All right, let's. Can I not go up from here? Guess not. Guess I have to go around. I should probably be able to grab that, right? Yeah. There's these two guys right here. What I could do is double air, air assassinate them. Nice. But then this guy's going to see me. Which is fine. There you go. Let's uh, switch to the pirate boarding axe. Why not? This is kind of cool. Oh, I kind of like this weapon. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. We'll take it. Perfect. I thought I was going to have to break that, that guy's defenses. Um, plant. All right. Everything should be good. Stand back. We're going to jump in the water. Oh. I guess I could have stayed on the ship. But that's fine. We can just climb the mast right here. Hey, at least we helped out the Americans, right? And then we're going to leave a statement. As we should. That was really cool. By the way, I'm sorry. In the last episode, I had to... Mute a song, sadly. Because some random person has like a copyright claim on it. It's so weird. Like this guy doesn't own the music at all. It's not Ubisoft. But he's able to claim tracks on YouTube for some reason. I don't know how you can do that. But he's doing it. I don't even know if that's illegal. And then I looked him up on Genius and he has like credits towards like mainstream hip hop songs like Hotline Bling by Drake and some other really famous songs. And I'm like, how is this possible? I don't know. The Internet is weird. Come on, my patriot friend.
god look at this city it's like completely destroyed they leveled this place well i did my job that's kind of a hard mission like if i were to go back and do a full sync on that that's gonna be tough like having to dodge cannonballs Do not fear, and neither should you. For what they have in material, they lack in conviction and care. Right. But not us. We have discipline. We have order. And most importantly, we have passion. We believe. So maintain vigilance. Serve your ammo. Ensure a proper line of sight. And above all else, men, do not fire. And so you see the you whites see of, their the eyes. of their eyes. I said that in the last episode. Very famous quote. Love me, dare. You did it. That was quite a speech. Lies, all of it, I'm afraid. But <laughs> Still, such words have carried us thus far. Hey, and what a pit con. He's left Boston, as I said he would, and set up camp on Holton Hill. There's no good way to get at him. Not with that maelstrom growing down below. I suppose you could circle around a bit and wait for us to thin their ranks. There is no time. I will have to chance a direct approach. That's twice today you proposed the impossible. I see no other choice. Not because you're mad as a March Hare, son. I expect an apology on my return. Woo! <laughs> okay, Cotter. This is why I want a Civil War game so bad, man. It would be so good. Man, let Ubisoft make it. Oh, I took damage. Ah. Uh, where should I run to next? Over here? Oh, God. I'm just, oh, I died. I guess I got to do that again. I was just running, man. I, I didn't, I didn't know when I should not run, when I should run. That was confusing. All right, let's try this again. Move from cover to cover between volleys. Wants me to go all the way down there. I just see flashing like it's, a paparazzi or something. You see that? Right, I'm gonna try to go to that right there. Let's try. God. All right, maybe now. Right, I'm gonna wait. Maybe now. All right, we're kind of doing it. Maybe now. Woo! Oh, I still got shot somehow. They weren't even looking at me either. How did that happen? Oh, there's a line of them over there. Oh. Oh, crap. Oh, there's a lot of them right there. Is there a bush I can hide in? Yeah. Are they gonna find me over here? I hope not. 
Oh, that guy's gonna run right into me. Crap! I don't want to fight them. Okay, I guess I have to. Dude, there's so many of them. Crap. This is no good. Thought I was doing pretty good just going through the trees. Get him. Oh. Pirate axe is kind of cool. All right, let's get these guys. Ah! There it is. Dude, that axe is kind of fun to use. You guys have anything on you? No. Okay, so now that we're up, let's go over here. He's over there. Where's the center? I see that flagpole right there. Let's see if we can get this guy here. Ooh, maybe not. Yeah, hold on. Maybe not a good idea. Whoa. Who saw me? Oh, two guys over there. Wait, they, they think they saw me again? Okay, that flag hole is over there. That would definitely leave a statement if we killed him from that. They all came over here. I hate that. Oh, we can go up that tree right there. You guys see that tree? It's a perfect spot. Oh, I want to assassinate him so bad, but then all these guys are right here. Okay, let's let's take it slow. I don't think those guys are moving. As soon as he starts walking over there, we're going to run up that tree stump. Perfect. Yes. Oh, right there. The adrenaline. Why? Why did you do this? To protect Adams and Hancock and those they serve. You meant to kill them. Kill them? Are you mad? I wanted only to parley. There was so much to discuss. To explain. You put an end to that now. If you speak true, then I will carry your last words to them. They must lay down their arms. They must stop this war. Why them and not the Redcoats? Do not think we ask the same question of the British. These things take time. And I would have succeeded had you let me play my part. Part of the puppeteer. Or better we hold the strings than another. No, the strings should be severed. All should be free. Facts. Then we should live forever on castles in the sky. You wield your blade like a man, but your mouth like a child. And more will die now. Because of that. Saha you yonder in your ten on the set takwe. Tini on a yaho ten at on the set takwe. 
I'm starting to question the assassins a little bit. Yikes. I don't know. It's like one of those situations where you... How dare you sneak up on me? You don't really know who to root for. Why don't you just go out there and just help this cap retreat? Don't ever do that again, you hear me? God damn it! <laughs> General Putnam. You live. The same cannot be said for Pitcairn. Well done, I suppose. <laughs> but it matters little now. I'm ordering a full retreat. We have lost too many in exchange for too little. If the Tories want this hill so badly, let them have it. Boston is the true prize. Oh, God, that's not good. We have a bigger problem. What do you mean? Read it. This can't be right. It says they plan to murder Washington. Uh oh. George? My man, George? Never. Never could they do that. Me and George go way back. You think you think they're going to kill my boy George? My enemy is tenacious. When money failed them, they took to force. Mm. But I have slain Johnson and Pitcairn both, ending their plots. George Washington now rallies the colonists and their march towards freedom begins in earnest. Little wonder then that the Templars now want him dead. They seek to reshape this land into something cold and ordered, something soulless. And he is an obstacle. I must save him, that his cause can flourish and my people remain safe. But the more I prod, the greater the chance I am discovered. The Templars believe their men lost the revolution. In their eyes, the assassins are gone and scattered, no longer a threat. But I fear they will soon discover the truth and me along with it. I must tread carefully. You gotta be careful, Connor. How fares the hunt, Connor? There is progress, but I worry it is not enough. You must strike where you need it most. What if you pursue Charles Lee and your father? What then of Paul Revere and the soldiers at Lexington? Soldiers? There were no soldiers in those towns, only men and women who were forced to defend themselves. Is this not why you fight? To protect your people? Your struggle is the colonist struggle. In helping one, you help the other. Do you really, though? Encouraging words from one who thought mine a fool's errand. <laughs> Make no mistake. I still do, but I can't help but feel some pride in your success. And why should I give you any credit? Oof. Then don't. But uh, first, return the robe and the blade and the, and the darts and all of the years of training and knowledge I have bestowed upon you. Return these and then your words may have some merit. Yeah, you sound kind of ungrateful right now. Or you could just admit that you are wrong. Oh, child, please, you've killed two men. One more salesman than soldier. You're going to have to try a lot harder than that to impress me. Is that so, old man? Or perhaps we should step outside. I will gladly demonstrate how easily I could trounce. Connor, this is Benjamin Talmadge. His father was one of us. No need for secrecy. I think he has something he wants to say. Achilles tells me you've uncovered a plot to murder the commander-in-chief. Yes, but I have only false starts and dead ends to show for it. Not anymore, my friend. Thomas Hickey's your man, and I aim to help you catch him. Oh, nice. How? I'll explain on the way. You and I are going to New York. New York! I've never been to New York. All fast travel stations found. I mean, this man really, he really thought he was about to square up with Achilles. Oh man, don't do this, Connor. Don't embarrass yourself like that.
<laughs> Don't embarrass yourself like that. All right, we're here. Time to do a homestead mission. Gunner. Up, Norris. How did the gifting go? Use your help. Three more. I want to build her a new knife of steel I make special. I know where to get iron, but the mine belongs to the English. Will it take long to gather? No. A couple of blasts and I will have what I need. I just need you to stand watch. I will wait for you at the mine. It's not far, just off the property. I can do that. That sounds simple enough. Meet Norris in the frontier. Okay. I ran all the way here. I also changed my outfit to the Charlestown uh, outfit, and I really like it. Gunner, I need to prepare some explosive. My guess is the bang will bring some unhappy English. <laughs> no doubt. I had best prepare some things myself. Looks like you have a little time. I need to use these. Maybe put one here. Is it going to bring a lot of people? Or are a lot of people going to just start chasing us? Or attacking us? Oh, crap. Is it about to blow? Oh. That's no good. All right. So let's get the gun out. See what happens. I think they are coming. Oh, crap. Come on. <laughs> oh. Can Norris hold his own? Like at least decently? I think he should be able to handle one guy, right? Maybe not. That's a big guy. Yeah, knock him on the ground. Ooh. Okay, he said a few more? Good luck, man. Oh my god. All right, I'm waiting on you. Maybe I should put this like right here. And then this other one that was on this side. Maybe like closer. Uh oh. What about these guys that are walking? Are they going to come up this way? Sacre Dieu. No. I think they are coming. After them, boys. Oh, no, I have to reload. Oh my God. I forgot. These guns suck. Dang it. I had to freaking reload. Oh, he smacked me. Come on. Yeah, the reloading sucks. <laughs> Especially when you play other games where the reloading is not really an issue. And then you play this game and you're like, oh, yeah, I forgot. We got some pretty sucky guns in this. This is my last one. Just a little low. All right. Well, I got to reload. Well, then I'm going to bring this over there because I feel like they're going to appear over there. I'm trying to get them with one boom. That's not looking possible. I also forgot you can aim. All right. I'm going to wait for him. All right, here we go. Here we go. They got to come this way, right? I like how you can switch shoulders. I think they are coming. Perfect. Yep. Nope, don't let him leave. Look 
at him sneaking off right there. I see you. Oh, wait. No, he's not. We're good. God. Nice. Triple. him. Trip him. There it is. I love that trip, dude. It's perfect. It's them right on the ground. You get an insta kill. Got everything. Time to go. All right. Is that all he needed me for? And now produce level four minerals. Nice. All right, let's see. There's a homestead mission here that I can do. I guess I'll head over there. Hopefully it's a new person. All right, this is up ahead. Uh-oh. Who is this guy? Yeah, this is a new guy. This is not your business. Oh, of course it's my business. Shut up. I'm gonna help this guy out. Oh. Another tough guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll make you eat those words. Oh. I wish I got to see that. The camera screwed up there. That looked like it was going to be really cool. I used the rope dart counter. Enough. I have him. Back off! Yield! Or your friend dies! Enough. Yeah, sure. <laughs> sure. We have a new friend, yay. Hurt. Big day! Thank you, stranger. What were they doing? This lot was dragging me through the countryside trying to make an example of a deserter. Sorry now, who are you? Connor. A deserter, you say? What does that mean? Don't much agree with the fight, and uh, I love this country. So there you have it. The name's David Walston. Oh, okay. My friends call me Big Dave. Might I ask where you live so I could repay the debt when I'm able? It might take us a while. Us smithies don't earn much coin these days. Our community is not far from here, and we certainly could use the services of a smith. Would you consider plying your trade there? I think I've needed him. Oh, it would make repaying you a spot easier. Huh, I just might. I think I've needed him. So I'm glad that he is at the homestead now. I think there was try there was something that I was trying to craft that I needed a smithy, blacksmith. So I'm going to head on over to New York. New York time. Let's see what New York looks like in this game. It's going to be interesting. Oh, here it is, guys. Okay. This is New York. I love it. Yeah, it definitely doesn't look like this anymore. <laughs> so what is your stake in all this? Same as yours. Peace. Stability. A land in which all might live side by side, free and equal. Why not join the Brotherhood, then? My father was an assassin. Quite good at his job, too, as I understand it. But I hope to have children someday. It's hard to live in two worlds at the same time. So I chose to live in one. I understand. I still contribute as I can. That's why we're here now. That name doesn't sound familiar. Let me look up his... uh. His bio? Because we did get it. Yeah, here it is. Benjamin Talmadge was the head of intelligence for the Continental Army during the Revolutionary War. The British, of course, would have called that an oxymoron. Talmadge was originally from New York, but moved to Connecticut before the revolution broke out. He served as a lieutenant and then a major in the militia before being asked by George Washington to lead the intelligence department. Talmadge used his contacts in New York to form the Culper Ring, a league of spies that observed and reported on the British actions in New York. It's possible his contacts also discovered Benedict Arnold's treasury. 
but that's disputed. After the war, Talmadge returned to Connecticut, where he became a merchant and politician. He was elected to the House of Representatives in 1801. Oh, nice. Okay. Hey, he did some big things. Look at New York, though, guys. What the heck? Is this upstate New York, though? This isn't New York City. What can you tell me of Thomas Hickey? He has been running a counterfeiting ring in the city. Locate the source of his operation, and we can have him arrested. He cannot harm the commander if he is in prison. Do you know where he is? Not exactly, but I have an idea where we can begin the search. Okay. Culper ring. Yeah, what is that? I don't even know what that is. This is a network of rebel spies operating in New York and Connecticut from 1778 until the end of the American Revolution. The group was founded after British forces left Philadelphia and reestablished their headquarters in New York City. Washington knew, knew that he needed people on the inside. I've always wanted to use that phrase in between you and me. I also got quite a kick out of rebel spies to report on British troop movements. He asked his newly appointed head of intelligence, Benjamin Talmadge, to find some spies, which Talmadge did. Talmadge needed people he could trust absolutely, so he began by recruiting his childhood friends. Nothing says friendship quite like offering someone a job that involves risking their life, true. The name Culper Ring is taken from Samuel Culper Sr. and Samuel Culper Jr., the codenames of two of the ring's main informants. I don't know who they were, but I imagine one was slightly older than the other. Yeah, that makes sense. The group's biggest accomplishment was probably informing Washington of a planned attack on the French forces in Rhode Island in 1780. They're also credited with uncovering Benedict Arnold's betrayal of West Point, who the evidence for that is sketchier. In any case, the ring delivered secret messages for years, with none of its members ever being captured, with one possible exception, a woman referred to as 355, whose real identity and fate isn't known. The group is credited for being the most effective intelligence operation in the war on either side. You can't know how much it pains me to write that. It took ages. They sound like the codename Kids Next Door or something like that. They had like... They had like number code names. So you're number 355. You're number 401. We have 756 over there. Man, this place is beautiful, guys. The Crown, New York's finest. There are rumors of bad bills being circulated here. No doubt they come from Thomas. They had bad bills back then? They had counterfeit money? That's crazy. What are you up to? This isn't money. It's colored paper. You've cheated me for the last time. God! Imagine being one of the first counterfeiters. That'd be nuts. Imagine being a criminal back then. Getting caught would not be fun, but... Being a criminal, though? <laughs> I'm not saying it's good to be a criminal. I'm just saying. I mean, this guy was the first counterfeiter, one of the first here in America. It's amazing. Like now you need to be like super intelligent to like fake money, right? Because of the way money works nowadays. But back then, you know, you just print some paper and like, hey, where, how you going to know? Like, <laughs> All right, let's go up here. Hopefully I don't lose him by the time I climb up. Uh-oh, starting to give me the timer. The counter of doom. Uh, right there, up here. 
Right here. Tailing missions are less glitchy in this game. I like that. They're actually better. <laughs> I don't know. In Revelations, they were really buggy. Had some issues with them. I hope that guy doesn't see me. He's starting to. A static eavesdrop. Stay in range of your target. Oh, I missed it. Crap. Okay. Well, that sucks. I was trying to get down to do it, but... All right. Thanks, game. All right, let's jump down. Buttonwood. Wall Street. This is New York City. Oh, crap. Can you guys believe that New York looked like this at one time? Like a couple centuries ago? Jeez. Why is he in that well right there? What? Is he making the bills in that well? Uh oh, he's looking behind. Ah, he saw me. Go back. You don't see me anymore. Just keep going. Okay, there you go. Successful eavesdrop while moving. Oh my god, let me get down. Let me get down. Okay. Oh, they're looking behind him. I can't hear anything though. Can you eavesdrop? Oh, okay, yeah, you can. Boss wants everyone back at the shop. Crap. I'm telling you it's nothing. I haven't had a spot of trouble since I stepped away. Of course, I'm taking care to keep my distance. I can't believe we're really gonna do this. We'll be heroes. The ones who ended all this talk of revolution. Troublemakers looking to upset the apple cart. There's some oh god built their heads with rubbish, ruining it for the rest of us good good folk. Really? Of course. You and me and Hickey. Just some hard luck lads trying to survive in this cold, cruel world. <laughs> yeah, sure. This is not easy, by the way. Okay, keep walking. All right, we did that one. That wasn't too bad. This is a long tailing mission. Okay, we're good. You about to kick it down? Yep. What's this? Thomas Hickey? Might be. What's it to you? Huh. Ain't supposed to be none of your kind left. Suppose I'd best be rectifying that then. Get him! Ooh! 
But Connor, why would you do that? There's another one. Grab him. What? Yo, move. Look at this guy running. You get away from there. That's my money. I got him. Ha! Be still. You will do no more harm. You're a right fool meddling in affairs you know nothing about. Washington's the only thing keeping the Continental Army together. You kill him, you end all hope for freedom. Wrong, boy. -o. With him gone, they'll have no choice but to promote Lee, and then you are both under arrest. Yeah, they would have to promote Lee at that back, point. Officer, I ain't nothing wrong with uh, two men settling their differences the old-fashioned way. Can't we come to a quiet? What are the charges? Counterfeiting. I had nothing to do with that. What? Of course not. Listen, there are more important things at stake here. This man is planning to. <sighs> no, wait, what? I'm really going to jail right now? They're really gonna put me in the. They're gonna put me in the brig for something I didn't do. Okay, if you're if you're charging me for assassinating some people, <laughs> you know, I mean, I might have killed waves of British soldiers and maybe some uh, patriots too, but you. You miss me, sweetheart. What? Bro. Nothing to say. If you are here, then Washington is safe. True, true. Thing is, I believe I've just been pardoned. Oh, Charles Lee is here. Crap. Thank you kindly for the rescue, gents. There can be no further mistakes. There's my dad. Am I understood? What about this, the assassin? Yeah, he's here. They put him in a cell right next to mine. Guess we didn't get them all, eh? Deal with this, Charles. At once, sir. What are we gonna do? That was weird. Hatham didn't want to deal with it. Cause he you knows. Know that boy from the Continental Congress. Adams's little lapdog. Hmm. I think I have an idea. Yes. Two birds with one stone. Do tell. All in good time. It's not like the assassin's going anywhere. For now, we should see about getting you better accommodations here. What are you on about? I thought I was getting out. I'm afraid you won't be leaving for a while, thanks to Benjamin Talmadge. He's been running his mouth, saying all sorts of things. You're being investigated for plotting to assassinate George Washington. Oh! What a bunch of bollocks. I thought you was going to handle that. We'll discuss this elsewhere. Oh, his face. He's so mean. Charles Lee is truly menacing. Now I'm in jail. Wait. I can interact with that bucket over there? Ew. Let's not. It's giving no. Ain't Smells no way. Even worse than it looks. Yeah, I bet. I look outside. They clearly spared no expense here. <laughs> Not at all. Knock it off! Oh. I'm telling you, he's planning to escape. We should get in on it. Yeah, and what makes you think that? Caught him carving something in the yard. Slipped it in his pocket real quick when he saw me. Looked like a key. Probably oh. just a shiv. Nah, Mason ain't a fighter. Always talking and tricking his way out of trouble. Weasel weems, they call him. Stinky bastard. Come on, Finch. He's not so bad. Even told me some letters once. To write a note to my lady. Ha! What for? You think that whore is out there pining for you? Saving herself for when you get out? Huh? No doubt she's already moved on to the next fella. Yikes. And the fella after him. You shut your mouth before I shut it for you. Easy now. It was just a joke. Yeah. Well, it wasn't very funny. That was not a good joke at all. I agree with him. I didn't know we were playing prison simulator. Guess I'm going to sleep.
Oh, that looks nice and comfy. A nice stone slab. Put your back. Get up! Where are we going? Stay out of trouble or you'll wind up in the pit. Hey, oh, hey, oh, oh, oh. Hey! What are you looking at, half breed? Half breed? You not understand English? Is that it? Yeah, I'm on my way. I'm following you. Shut up. Do I need to knock some sense into that thick head of yours? No. I should try and find this Weems fellow. If he intends to escape, perhaps he can help me. That's him right there. Don't let me don't make me play that. I'm not Easy good at memes. it. Could be. I need your help. Oh. They say you know a way out of here. They say a lot of things. I do not have time for games. A shame. As I was hoping you might play one with me. Oh no. Fine. No. Are you familiar with the rules? No. Connor, please. I knew they were going to force me to play this eventually. Oh, wait, what? Seeing as you already know mine, what's your name? Connor. Pleased to meet you, Connor. I don't know what I'm doing. Well played. So, what brings you to Bridewell? Treachery. I have been falsely accused. Of course you have. What? You do not believe me? Why should I? You have the look of a brute. <laughs> you misjudge. I am an honest man. <laughs> sure. And yet, also a man imprisoned. Tell me how you found yourself in this place. It is a private matter. As is what you ask of me. Uh, what am I doing? I was trying to prevent a murder. Oh! Anyone I know? Maybe. George Washington. The others put you up to this, didn't they? What? Thought it might be fun to have another laugh at Mason's expense. Fools. A lot of them. To make light of something like this? George Washington is brave beyond measure. Loyal like a brother, peerless in character, and unshakable in his convictions. That man is our Jupiter Conservator. Destined to lead us not just to freedom, but greatness. Anyone who says otherwise is either a simpleton or a traitor. Then you understand a true American. why I need to get out of here. If I don't help him, he is going to die. You're serious, aren't you? Very well. But it's going to take some doing. See, everything hinges on the key I forged. But that loud finch stole it. it took me three months to make the thing, too. <sighs> you need to get it back, or we're not going anywhere. Consider it done. All right, I can do that. My question is, how do they know he's an half breed by looking at him? I would just, I would think that Connor's just native. <laughs> Mason Locke Weems, later known as Parson Weems, was an one time parish rector who became a traveling bookseller, writer and editor. He's mostly famous for his biography of the life of George Washington. I mean, yeah, he seemed like a shill. First published in 1800. He was, previous, uh, he was briefly the rector of Mount Vernon Parish, meaning he counted George Washington as one of his parishioners. Weems was a colorful character and a bit of a rogue, 
always with some story to tell. Most of them completely untrue or vastly exaggerated. It's from Weems' biography of Washington that we get the well-known story of young brave, uh, young George bravely confessing that he chopped down his father's prized cherry tree. Weems writes that the story is too true to be doubted, but who knows whether the phrase too true to be doubted is too true to be doubted. Weems also went on to write biographies of Benjamin Franklin, Francis Marion, and William Penn. Again, prizing being entertaining over actual fact. They sold well, however, paving the way for tabloid newspapers everywhere. And I didn't know that. I didn't know that at all because, I mean, I've heard that, that cherry tree story a lot. I didn't know it was fake, actually. <laughs> I thought it was true. Without being detected? I mean, there's a lot of guards around here, y'all. Hopefully I don't get busted up. I'm just going to stand here for a little bit, see if he moves. Oh, he's moving. Oh, shoot. I got detected. This man turned around and started giving me the one, two, buckle my shoe. Dang. All right, let's try this again. Move. I think the guard saw me. And it wasn't necessarily him. Hey, there's another native man in here. Come on, man. Move. Okay. Got it. Oh, my cell's over there. I'm really about to bust out this place. This key is useless. Oh, they lied. Uh oh. What are you looking at? You in the market for husband? Yeah, sure. Are you selling? Like what? I gotta go downstairs. So what key is this? Your key is useless. What do you mean? It did not fit the lock. It's not meant to. You forged a key that does not work. Well, that all depends on what you mean by work. It'll get us out of here. Just not the way you expected. Then how? You're going to use it to get the real key off the warden. You have to swap yours for his. Why not just have me take the real key? Why all this extra work? He might notice if it went missing. This way, he'll be none the wiser. And when he tries to use it? He won't. That's why we're targeting him. <sighs> how do I reach the warden? Can yes. we talk about this, this plan any plan louder? You may not like it. Oh, as if I've liked the others. Out with it. You need to pick a fight. What? Pick a fight, and they'll throw you in the pit. And how in the world does this help us? The warden oversees the pit. Getting sent there is the only way to reach him. I give you credit. You've given this plan to risk my life a great deal of thought. Yeah, he has. Take down as many it's as pretty you can. good. <laughs> One or two will only serve to entertain the guards. You need to make them angry. We all have our part to play. Try not to die. Oh, thanks. I'm glad somebody is caring about my well-being. Thank you. I'm gonna fight these guys over here. Oh, I'm, I'm killing people over here. What you mean? Oh, 
Hold on. Oh. I'm getting jumped. Why are these guys so much better than me? I'm an assassin. I'm trained. Jeez. I'm fighting them. <laughs> Yo. They're not letting me punch. There we go. Oh, God. There's a lot going on right now. Ooh. Okay, there we go. You just have to break their defenses. I kept trying to. Oh, 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 his knee buckled. You saw. Ooh. Fancy yourself a troublemaker, eh? Some time in the pitch to cool your blood. Look at all of you, pathetic, dirty wretches. You're not but swine, suckling at the teats of civilization. Thieves and scoundrels all. And do you acknowledge this? Do you repent and beg forgiveness? No. You elect instead to commit new... <laughs> oh my god. Screams. Bro, we gotta get out of here, Connor. Come on! This place is scary. Need to take care not to raise the alarm. Oh, I can need to go this way. <gasps> oh no. I didn't even see this guy. No, you don't. I'll come out. <laughs> no, no, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Oh, there he is. You'll find Hickey through that door. It's where they keep the important prisoners. Nicer rooms, more space, those sorts of things. It seems even in prison, who you know makes all the difference. Thank you, Mason, for everything. I will find a way to repay the favor when my work here is finished. saw me oh there's a lot of guys up here uh oh ah yeah I knew I was gonna get caught I didn't want to kill another guy, so I kind of just took the L there. All right. All right, I made it. I don't know how I did it, but I made it. <laughs> I just I just ran right past them. <laughs> Oh, he's already dead? Oh! <gasps> Not who you was expecting. Am I right? Oh, what no. What have we here? I thought we'd finished off your kind. You would like that, wouldn't you? To rid the world of all who do not share your views. <laughs> Guilty as charged. Your meddling in the revolution has caused us no small measure of grief. It cannot continue. Our work is too important. But what would you know beyond all the lies Achilles feeds you and the tales you tell yourself? I know that the people wish to be free and that men like Washington fight to make it so. Please, the man is weak. He stumbles and stammers through each engagement, making it all up as he goes along. His pedigree is pathetic, his military record even more so. 
I could go on and on, but we'd be here for days. So manifold are his faults, so deficient are his merits. He must be dealt with. You as well. I will abide no more flies in the ointment. Flies in the, in the what? Work. First we bind you and bring you to your cell. Then tomorrow, you go before the court, accused of plotting to kill good old Georgie. <laughs> hmm. Maybe we could pin the murder of uh, the warden on you too. You did kill him after all. And who wouldn't take the word of Charlie over here? Look at that smile. Oh, I well, slap then. him. <laughs> let's go! Let's go! Oh. All those years ago, the child in the forest was you. Oh, no. I said I would find you. <gasps> and so you have. But not quite as you had expected, am I right? Mm -hmm. You know, all of this might have been avoided had you only done what I asked. Ah, uh, but what's done is done. <clears throat> I was wondering if they were ever going to like, you know, connect the dots there. They did. Man, he's a good villain though, huh? I like this, this is a good antagonist. Kind of reminds me of Chessere a little bit. Up! Up with you! I said get up! Walk! Bye now! <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Who's that guy? <laughs> this isn't looking good, guys. I think we're going to get executed. But how does Connor get out of this? Unless Achilles comes and saves us. That'd be pretty epic. This whole time he like pulls a Yoda. He looks like this old man that can't really walk, but like out of nowhere, he just like has this ultimate like combat ability. Yeah, this is rough. Hello, Connor. Didn't think I'd miss your going away party, did ya? <laughs> I hear Washington himself is gonna be in attendance. Hope nothing bad happens to him. You said there'd be a trial. Oh, no trial for traitors, I'm afraid. Lee and Haytham sort of that. It's straight to the gallows for you. <laughs> not the gallows! I will not die today. The same cannot be said for you. That's enough! Keep moving! Whoa. He was very sure about that, too. Oh, no. Look at all the people. That's that's old Georgie. George, what am I going to do? Did I hear something? I could have sworn I heard someone get assassinated. Oh, what the heck? What was that? Ooh. Yo, there's stuff going on! There's assassins, baby! Look at Charles Lee waiting. Did he not see that guy get assassinated? These guys are blind. What the f***? Races. Oh, there's Achilles. Not alone. Only give a cry when you need us. Forget about me. You need to stop Hickey. He's he said you're, we're not alone. Don't want to be late now, do we? You just had to be an hero, didn't you? You and Georgie both. 
Now you see what it gets you. A pine box, little else. Yeah, the assassins. We're about to cook some up right here, guys. You ready? It's not the end for us yet. Brothers, sisters, fellow patriots. Several days ago, we learned of a scheme so vile, so dastardly, that even repeating it now disturbs my being. The man before you plotted to murder our much beloved general. Indeed. Ooh, look at people getting assassinated up on the rooftops. Or madness moved him, none can say. And he himself offers no defense, shows no remorse. And though we have begged and pleaded with him to share what he knows, he maintains a deadly silence. Oh, that's cool. If the man will not explain himself. If he will not confess and atone, what other option do we have but this? He sought to send us into the arms of the enemy. And thus we are compelled by justice to send him from this world. May God have mercy on yourself. I feel like Darth Vader right now. Ah! Wait, what just happened? Need to stop, Hickey. Go. What the heck? Achilles was underneath there? Oh, you're cooked, homie. Oh, you had the chance to kill me and you didn't. Oh, it's slow-mo? This is some horrible slow-mo. Okay, here we... Ah, he's gonna get George! No! Ah! Uh, uh. Hey, hey. I got you, George. Yeah. Who cut the rope, though? Achilles couldn't have done that. See another day. Shame. I want answers. Why did Johnson try and buy my people's land? Why was Pitcairn targeting Adams and Hancock? What purpose would Washington's murder have served? Why does your order support the British? How should I know? The Templars, Lee, the big man, Haytham. They has the money. They has the power. That's the reason I threw him with them. That's the only reason. Sure, they have some sort of vision for the future, too. I didn't give a damn about any of that. They can sing their songs about mankind and its troubles. They can make their plans and spring their traps don't bother me none they paid me so i said yes didn't bother to ask who or how or why didn't care you chose to side with men who would rob us of our humanity simply because it was more profitable what else is there i'm not some people are like that give up all i've got on principle what is principle anyway can you bring it to the bank Apparently not. You can't bring your soul to the bank either. Like that. We're different, you and I. You're just some blind fool who's always chasing butterflies. Whereas I'm the type of guy who likes to have a beer in one hand and a tea in the other. Thing is, boy, I can have what I seek. Had it even. You. Your hands will always be empty. Well, who's got the empty hands now? Where's the titty in your hand? Where's the beer in the other? I, I, I can do that. I said, lower your goddamn guns. This man's a hero. Oh, the general can be so stubborn sometimes. Piffle, he said, when we warned him something like this would happen. Piffle. Stop. Respect the dead. Kill the commander. Merely killed you as well. He was a scoundrel. But still a man. Hm. You're nothing if not consistent. Where is Washington? I need to speak with him. Bundled off as soon as your execution went sideways. He's likely on his way back to Philadelphia by now. And so am I. Something wrong? 
He is still in danger. Hickey did not act alone. That made me really think what Connor just said, though, when he said he's still a man. There's been so many times where I feel like I count people out. Just because, like, I feel like I have better morals than them. Or my principle is better. It's quite impressive what you've accomplished. Is that a compliment? Whoa. Well, don't misconstrue. I'm sure the whole endeavor will end tragically. But to have come this far, well, it's more than I ever expected. The people yearn for freedom but feared to grab hold of it. That fear is gone now. Thanks to you? No. This they did on their own. You diminish your role. But you have always been of humble heart. I do what is right. No more, no less. You cannot tell him. I have to. Otherwise, he will never be safe. He is safer not knowing. Yeah. By planting the seeds of doubt, you threaten to topple his entire endeavor. If Washington is paralyzed, Charles Lee will strike. You'll cause the very thing you aim to prevent. Right. Hunt the Templars as is your duty. But do not drag these men into it. Oh my god. Okay. I agree with that. Yeah, I'm with Achilles. We must now There it all is! Hang John together. Hancock! Yes. We must then Benjamin. all hang together. Or most assuredly, we shall all hang separately. You are once more our savior. I must speak with the commander. He's gone to try and hold New York. The British intend to take it. I fear we'll need to recall our men from Quebec as well. It's one thing to declare our independence. Now, my friend, we must make it so. Let's go. Sequence eight was like, you didn't even really get to play. Like you couldn't free roam or anything. It was pretty quick. Like it had you stuck in the missions because it had like that whole prison arc. Oh, they kicked us out of the Animus. Everything all right? Sean has located a second power source. Nice. I've asked Rebecca to charter a flight for us. Where to? Brazil. Oh, always wanted to go. One day, one day. You there, Rebecca? Bad reception. Can you hear me? Well, glad to see that's working. Guess I'll try you back when I'm topside. Now you had all that room to walk and you purposely bumped into me. Come on. People be doing stuff like that for real, like in real life. Oh, see, this is why we go to Brazil right here. Hey, lady. What's going on? All right. Seriously, though. Is that... I'm wanted? Desmond is wanted here? That's not good. Those cell... Hey, those cell phones kind of have me on edge right now because it reminds me of John Wick. You remember... Oh, I don't want to spoil John Wick. Never mind. If you've seen John Wick, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, we got the representation. We got the boxing. We got the Brazilian flag over here. You copy now? Loud and clear. What's the plan? According to our intel, the power source is being worn as a bracelet by some tycoon's trophy wife. We're working on pinpointing her location, but she's most likely inside a VIP booth on the stadium's upper level. I'll update you when I know more. Now to find a ticket. We don't have time to play nice. Steal someone else's. Bit of a dick move, don't you think? Well, I guess you could try and sneak past security instead. 
I don't think we're gonna be able to do that. All right, well, what can I do here? What do we got? What do we got? A modern day mission, guys. This is kind of this is kind of nutty. I like it though. Everything all right, Desmond? You should really get moving. Taking back security should get you into the arena. Preciso ver seu bilhete. Bro, Brazil is beautiful. Like every time I see it, like in a movie or any any piece of media. Doesn't look like normal security. Because it is. Ooh. Those are Abstergo agents. Cross is probably here too. You need to be careful. What's going on over here? Hey, yo. Oh, he sees me. Don't let them see you. What do we got in here? Target's definitely in the VIP area. The entrance is at the end of this concourse. Okay. Oh, is this a boxing match? Oh, we gotta run. Don't let them see you. Ooh, 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 ooh. Can I hang out with y'all? Oh, I'm I'm caught. Great. They've set up a checkpoint. I'm caught. <laughs> oh no. Alright. So Great. they've set up a checkpoint. Security's headed towards you. Alright. I'm gonna go over there. Stick close to the crowd and you should be okay. Or look for a way around it. I'm going down here. Oh, it's a bathroom. What is the deal with stadiums and piss troughs? It's disgusting. And who thought they were a good idea? Troughs are time and cost efficient. I don't even see a stall in here. Uh, what if I have to take a dump? Yeah, please just mute the microphone if you do. <laughs> is this... Y'all just pee in holes? I mean, that's pretty much what a urinal is. Watch your back. They're on you. All right. Looks there's, like I'm close. There's security Shit. all the way down there. Another checkpoint. Yeah, I'm gonna go this way. I go over there? I gotta go up. Excuse me? Hey, yo! Você devia estar feliz por nós. Vou cuidar dela direito. Você vai ver. I'm here for the tea. Like, hold on. I saw something about sex and like, what? My little sister? Like, what? Puta que te pariu. Oh, they're about to fight. Yeah, hey, yeah, hey. I would be fighting too. Hold on. Somebody said something about my little sister's booty. Like we're squaring up. In Brazil, we fighting in the streets. Yo, what y'all doing over there in Brazil, bro? I don't know what's going on. What you be, <laughs> you be saw? Who's writing this, bro? Like, <laughs> who's writing this? <laughs> I need to know. Cause this is wild. She's just on the other side of the stadium. Other side?
Can I just stand here and he won't see me? Yeah. Cool. I'll go past this guy. Catwalks. Oh. Oh, this is cool. This is like a cross between Hitman and Splinter Cell. How does nobody see me up here? <laughs> Y'all blind, man. Like, literally no one sees me? Okay. I'm just gonna... Uh, chill up here with y'all with the rich people okay where do I need to go oh sh whoa whoa what the he just threw the gun at me Nah, 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 nah. We gotta get this guy. Oh, crap. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, wait, what? Okay, yeah, we gotta fight these guys now. He's gonna shoot? Whoa! I want to shoot a gun. I'm out here fist fighting. Why they not give Desmond a gun? He's fighting just like Connor, by the way. Dang. But my like my, my punches ain't doing anything. Okay, this game's starting to glitch a little bit. Here we go. Come on, fight me. Can I pick? That'd be crazy if I could pick a gun up. I was trying to see if I could pick a gun up. Oh, crap. Metro's this way. Ooh. Can I go through here? Nope. Oh, it's not looking good, guys. I gotta run that way. Whoa, they're shooting! scary Woo. that was really scary we can get back to Connor whenever you're ready Desmond unless you want to plug in the power source first up to you yeah, we just like left got hopped on a plane Jet over to Brazil, came back. Like nothing happened. If only it was that simple. All right, let's see if we can plug this in. I'm pretty sure we had to plug this in over here, right? All right, Juno, we got this. See what do you got for me? Oh, we have to go over there. Okay, I think I can jump. I'm telling you, there's something down here. 
Don't be daft. I don't know. Maybe they were sleeping or something and we woke them. Some kind of cryogenics or hibernation. I mean, how do we know what the hell they were doing down here? They were working on a bunch of different solutions, but nothing worked. Just went from one to the next, and then... I don't know. They must have left at some point. After the end. I wonder what the world would be like if they'd succeeded. I'm more concerned about what it'll be like if we don't. Salvation. They found a way. Too late for them. But not for you. Sealed. To protect it. Though now it bars your way. Find the key. The past will tell. Well, we have the key. We just need to go over here. Oh, check this out. Do those modern day missions are actually kind of cool. I wish they were more fleshed out though. I mean, they're solid for what they are, but I would just love a more fleshed out modern day mission. The world approached, one that was dark and cold. It would consume us, for we were flesh and flesh is frail. Though suits and shields might offer comfort, such adornments would not suffice. Not to save us all. So we sought to change what we were. In this manner, we might thrive in a world made poisonous. It was Aita who volunteered to see if it might be done. Aita, my husband, my love. Aww. In the end, it changed him. <gasps> ruined him. Oh no. He was made a prisoner of the machines. The body might survive, but his mind became brittle to the touch. Yikes. He begged me for release. For days. For weeks. For months. I pleaded with him to give us time to find another way. But, but there, there wasn't, wasn't one. one. Not, Not for, for him. him. Not, Not for us. <gasps> oh my god. That is terrible. I am so sorry, Juno. I just hope you're not taking this out on us. Hmm. Did I just jump? Oh, we got it. There we go. but a series of electrical impulses and the body a vessel to hold these sparks but it is weak in time it decays and crumbles into dust we asked ourselves then what if it might be replaced with something stronger something better so we forged a new vessel, one that might endure. It proved easy enough to enter. But to leave, to leave required something more, something wrong. Something and wrong? so this too they abandoned. I wondered though. Were they right to turn away? Hmm. All right, I guess I'm going that way. Oh, that's where another one could go. I see it. Oh, check this out.
This room is so beautiful. Yeah, we could plug another one up here. Alright, I think we can leave. Hello, I'm back. What's my dad doing? Have... Have we ever tried to make peace with the Templars? Throughout our history, there have been moments. Several, in fact. But... It's impossible. There are existential differences. Insurmountable. If there were to be unity, it wouldn't be a truce so much as a submission. But knowing what's about to happen, wouldn't it make sense to try and talk to Vidic? Come to an arrangement, even if it's only temporary? We'd all be so busy watching our backs, nothing would get accomplished. <laughs> Imagine that. We're more productive at war. Well, have we ever tried sending in someone? Doing to them what they did to us with Lucy? Or Cross? We have, and it's never worked. We've sent people who were either too weak and found themselves turned, or too strong and were unable to carry out the charade. I just feel like we all want the same thing. We use the same words, but that's all they are, words. In the end, it all comes down to freedom. We seek it, they detest it. And so there's never an end to the fight. Not until one side is completely gone. Is that even possible? Right. Probably not. No, it's not. Our two groups have existed in one form or another since, well, since forever. But things can be better than they are. And that's something. Did you look for me, Dad? When I was gone? Every day. Come on. I mean it. Every night I'd look, searching for your name or variations of it, hoping you'd slip up. Abstergo only found you first because they had better access. A few more days and it would have been me. Well, I'm here now. And I'm glad. Aw. Do you think Lucy regretted what she was doing? I had a little father-son moment well, there. But clearly that wasn't the case. That's beautiful. So I really can't give you an honest answer. She seemed so sincere though. Like she really wanted to make a difference. Yes, well, when I first met him, I thought the same thing about Cross. It just keeps happening over and over again. What does? Everything. Don't get weird on me, Desmond. No, it, it's fine. I'm fine. Don't worry. All right, then. You should think about getting back in the Animus. We've got to find that key. Yeah, he's right. Can I make it? Let's talk to Sean. What's Sean doing up here? Oh, I, unbelievable. What's up? Your politicians are constantly referencing the Founding Fathers and insisting they must have been in support of one thing or another. I have never seen such a blatant disregard for history. That's just typical political propaganda. It's also dishonest and delusional. How can anyone claim to know what these people wanted based off scraps of paper and wishful thinking? They're looking for intent. What these men envisioned for our country and its future. Idealistic and unlikely. I don't think most of your presidents and senators and judges care what the founders thought. They just want to know how they can bend old words to achieve modern goals. Mm. Who cares if they were deists or theists or wanted a central bank? Why do people need the validation? What should matter is what you, as an individual, believe and why you believe it. What, we... So insecure that we have to find 18th century letters to validate our beliefs. Oh, look, Mum, a dead man agreed with me. Maybe. If you transpose the letters in his shopping list, you can plainly see he was on my side. Jesus, Sean. Wow. So cynical, it, it is very Isn't cynical. It's true. I keep trying to understand how men like Washington and Jefferson could dedicate their lives to the pursuit of liberty and equality, yet have no problem owning slaves. It's hypocritical in the extreme, and your history books make only passing mention of the subject, as if, as if it were of little consequence. They had a war to win, a country's future to secure. How could they deal with all these issues at the same time? Spoken like a true apologist. We hear it today, too, that matters of civil rights and equality must wait. There are conflicts to settle, economies to salvage, 
Mm. What do any of these things matter if the people are not free and equal? All of them. I wish there was a way for us to share what we learn from the Animus with others. Imagine being able to accurately answer questions about the past or experience lost civilizations. But how would you cite it? We can't just reveal the machine's existence to the world. Why not? Desmond's right. It would be dangerous. And we still haven't found a way to manage the bleeding effect. Maybe when we're done saving the world, we can look into it. Even if we do manage to stave off the apocalypse, it's not like the Templars are simply going to disappear. Mm -mm. I suspect our fight will continue long after this latest battle is finished. Yeah, it's really interesting that he says things like that. Because, I mean, Connor said the exact same thing to uh, Sam Adams. But, um, I mean, you can kind of... With, like, modern-day current events, it's kind of interesting that, like, you see people say that, like, there's other issues that are more important than equality or people's freedom. There's always that excuse all the time. All right, where the heck is Rebecca? Oh, there she is. So, what's the latest? Learn anything interesting while you were exploring? They were working on some weird stuff towards the end. Trying to engineer new bodies and store their minds inside computers. Failure after failure. It must have been hard for them. I worry about it too. I mean, they say there's something in here that'll help us. But what is it? Why is it locked up if it's exactly what we need? I don't know. Maybe it's dangerous. Maybe they wanted to make sure only you could reach it. That's the mm. other question. What makes me so special? That's a really good question. Once we open the door. Hey, I hope it's not uncomfortable for me to ask, but what happened with Lucy? I don't know. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said anything. No, it's fine. I really don't know. I was talking to my dad about it. It's, it's hard to say. I mean, Juno definitely took control, but I think I agreed to it on some level. I think I let her in. No. <laughs> That's not right. It, it wasn't her. Not exactly. It, it was more like a, a program. Does that sound weird? It, it showed me things. What'd you see? That if I didn't stop Lucy, Abstergo would get the apple, and we'd all be dead. I still don't understand why she turned on us. I'm sure she thought she was doing the right, right thing. thing. Like everyone that we've been killing so far in this game. I gotta get back as to Connor. You might want to do the same. And I mean that has been the theme of all of these Assassin's Creed games. Every time everybody thinks they're doing the right thing. Who thinks we should buy a few space heaters? Maybe a couple of jackets too? It's cold down here. I sort of figured that as we powered the place up. It'd like turn on its climate control systems or something. Guess not. Maybe the first civvies like it this way. All I know is I don't. So I don't really like for us to pick up some sort of heating solution the next time we head out. Please. The Sergo is definitely onto us. Most of the power sources I was tracking are gone. Guess they're rushing to snap them up now that we now that they know what we're up to. We've got the other cells scouting for us, running interference, trying to grab anything they can. It's just hard with our numbers and their resources. Sean's continuing his search for additional power sources. I'm working to coordinate with the other cells. Have them doing recon and watching for Abstergo. Rebecca's been monitoring your sessions. I'm hoping to duplicate some of the recordings and send them to other cells for further research. Also hoping there's a way to bypass some of these memories, but synchronization seems to dictate you progress in chronological order. Hopefully someday we'll have a way to move through memories more quickly. Would certainly save us a lot of time in situations like this. Why do you delay? If you do not retrieve the key in time, all the world will perish, and you with it. Yet you stop to talk, or rest. Rest later, when your work is done. If I seem aggressive, if my words feel more imperative than request, it is because I fear that you will not succeed in time, and then all of us are doomed. Who is this? My father, is taken, my father was taken from me by human hands, a war they called it, for their freedom. They were not even meant to exist. You were not meant to exist. We conjured you. A mistake. An error that cost us the world. My father would sing to me as a child. Soft songs of hope and love. 
His voice forever stilled when your brutish ancestors took up axe and club, later turned our own workers against us. We might have known what was to come and averted it, had you not dragged us into war. This is your fault. I fault, what did I do? <laughs> you know, it's rather incredible the way your lunatic fringe tries to conjure the spirit of the Founding Fathers to support their various causes. And by incredible, I mean hilarious. They hold up slave-owning, sexist homophobes as if these, that's some sort of ideal to which one would aspire. Oh, and in case you think I added that last bit for fun, as the sexism and slavery bits are already common knowledge, sodomy was a criminal offense in every one of the 13 colonies except for Georgia and Thomas Jefferson. Champion of personal liberty that he was, advocated for the castration of homosexuals. Lovely fellows, these founding fathers of yours, and now there's that new bit of madness with people asking for the removal of textbook references to their slave owning. Yikes. And before you think to turn it back round and rightly point out their barbarism was inspired by English law. Last I checked, two stupids don't make us smart. I thought the whole point of the revolution was to break free of the old ways, and it certainly doesn't recommend your founders as the sort of persons one would aspire to become, unless you aspire to become a manipulative bigot. Unless you think I'm championing some sort of leftist agenda, I'll gladly shame the internet tough guys who celebrate the Treaty of Tripoli as well. Shame on them for thinking it shows anything other than something taken straight out of the first graders guide to international relations. Its intent wasn't to prove America wasn't a Christian nation. They were saying they weren't going to reignite the crusades. No, that would be delayed for a couple of centuries. Now, I don't believe your founding fathers wanted to establish a theocracy. And they probably did intend for the country to be welcoming of all religions, but this isn't proof of that. I suppose the point I'm trying to make is that people might want to spend a little less time romanticizing and manipulating the past, fat chance that, and a bit more time focusing on how to improve the future, fatter chance still. I can agree with him in some ways. That's not to say there isn't plenty to be learned from looking back. Yes, there you go, Sean, because there is. It's just that most of those lessons wind up ignored or perverted these days. Yeah, true. At best, it's disingenuous and unproductive. At worst, and often, it's rather dangerous. Yeah. In ways. Oh, look at that. I found a third power source. Already? It popped up in an earlier search, but I've only just managed to confirm it. Where? There's a museum in Cairo with one on display. I guess Connor will Egypt. have to wait. No, you stay. We need to find that key. And time is running out. I'll make the trip. Good Go luck. Cross. Everything's going to be fine. I'll be back soon. I hope. Ready when you are, Desmond. Winter approaches. The air is still and sharp with grim expectation. The others sense it too and go about their work with uncommon urgency. I would like to help them. But more pressing matters now demand my attention. The Templars have targeted George Washington directly and will not rest until he is dead. I had hoped to shield him from this knowledge, but Thomas Hickey ended any hope I had of staying silent. And so I have resolved to share everything I know of the Templars and their plots, of who I really am. Achilles finds fault in this, and we argue every day. But there is simply too much now at stake to maintain restraint. Hmm. Oh, is he leaving now? Don't do this, Connor. Then what would you propose we do? Sit and watch while the Templars take control? We are sworn to stop them, or have you forgotten? Assassins are meant to be quiet, precise. We do not go announcing conspiracies from the rooftops to all who pass by. Who are you to lecture anyone? You locked yourself away in this crumbling heap and gave up on the Brotherhood entirely. Since the day I arrived, you've done nothing but discourage me. And on the rare occasions you've chosen to help, you've done so little, you may as well have done nothing at all. How wow! Dare you? Then tell me, on whose watch did the Brotherhood falter? Whose inaction allowed the Templar Order to grow so large that it now controls an entire nation? If I sought to dissuade you, it was because you knew nothing. If I was reluctant to contribute, it was because you were naive. A thousand times you would have died and taken God knows how many with you. 
Let me tell you something, Connor. Life is not a fairy tale, and there are no happy endings. No. Not when men like you are left in charge. And In your haste to save the world, boy, take care you don't destroy it. Ha! Oof. There's a lot going on right now. I'm like... I'm feeling like... Uh, conflicted. That's for sure. That's the word for it. I'm feeling really conflicted. I don't totally agree with everything that uh, Sean was talking about. All right, guys, we're going to slide through on this homestead mission that's up here. There's a few in New York that we can do, so let's knock them out. Hello there. Oh, we have to buy. I forgot. Ebony hammer handle. We need this. And then we also need this. It's not expensive at all. My hair would like... Perfect. So we have that. All right, we can leave now. We have the hammer pieces for Dave. For that deserter. What's his name? Big man or some such thing? Big Dave. Big he man. A whole unit escaping, they say. Dave's in for a rough ride, seems to me. Uh-oh. Looks like we need to go home and help Dave because that doesn't sound too good. Okay, here we are. Let's see if Big Dave is here. Oh yeah, Big Dave's Connor. chilling. What happened? I have the tools you requested. Ah, excellent. I'll get right to work. Norris has been hanging around pestering me about his knife. <laughs> I thought you should know I overheard some regulars talking. They are looking for you. I imagine they are. Better be careful. I'll have to face them sometime or another. I guess we'll be there to protect him whenever that is. Big Dave. It's nice to have him. We can get flints and weapon blades and belt buckles. I've always wanted a belt buckle. All right, let's go back to New York because there's another homestead mission that we can do. Okay, so the next one is up here. Are we getting another character? Whoa, excuse me. Hi. What happened? Who is this? your mother. Follow me. Okay, following you. Ooh, that guy was mad. Go. What's up with this guy? Help me. I'm begging you to help me. Why hey, yo. You want to beat it. Chill out. Ooh, drop kicked him on sight. Leave. Dear Lord. That Honor. wasn't necessary. I can handle myself. When he returns, he'll try and give me twice the thrashing. Why would you stay with such a man? This is my house and business. It's my tailoring that paid for this place. I'll take his drunken buffoonery over leaving behind what I've built. If I told you there was another place where you could live and work, free of him, would you consider it? The catch? No catch. Our village is growing. She's and we pretty. Need all forms of trade. Just business and a new life. I'll come. And see if what you say is true. Well, we have ourselves another resident. Now we can make candles. Yay, and sewing threads. So we have a tailor now. So if I need if I need any new swag, a hey, we're gonna be all right, right? All right, we need to go to the frontier and we need to head here. Is this a fort? I think it might be. I guess we're going there. Y'all, it is cold and we're out in the middle of nowhere. Look at this area. And look, it's a snowstorm too on top of that. 
Some of these people ain't got jackets on. There he is. The legend himself. George Washington. Commander. Connor. Any word on Lee? Not yet. My apologies. I've been distracted. That's oh, okay, sir. It's all right. Supply caravans meant for the camp have gone missing. I suspect treachery. That's not good. A traitor named Benjamin Church, Ooh. recently released from prison. We know him. Vanished as well. The two events are surely related. What was his crime? He was caught sending letters to the loyalists detailing yep. our troop strength. He claimed it was a scare tactic that we might avoid war. A poor lie. I will find church for you. Why? What reason have you to help? Does it matter? As you wish. We've received reports <laughs> of trouble along the southern road. Just took that. <laughs> Might be he's responsible. I suggest you begin your search there. I think the best thing about Connor is he doesn't even have to try and he's like funny sometimes. Like just the way he answers people or he talks to people makes you like crack a smile or laugh a little bit. <laughs> Why would you want to help? Does it matter? <laughs> In such a like innocent voice. All right, let's head this way. Guess we gotta find an abandoned church. I fought some patriots while I was while I was heading here on accident. It was my bad. That's why my notoriety's at one already. I wasn't trying to fight him. I accidentally typed. I accidentally tapped the Y button and shot somebody who was walking by, and they turned out to be a patriot. <laughs> My bad. Uh oh. Leave me alone. All right, here's the abandoned church. What's inside? An ambush? <gasps> Maybe? My Connor. dad? Any last words? Wait. A poor choice. Whoa! Uh, we gotta fight our father! Church. Make sure he's stolen enough for your British brothers. Benjamin Church is no brother of mine. No more than the Redcoats or their idiot king. Oh, I expected naivete, but this... The Templars do not fight for the crown. We seek the same as you, boy. Freedom. Justice. Independence. But... Hmm? But what? Johnson, Pitcairn, Hickey. They sought to steal land, to sack towns, to murder George Washington. Johnson sought to own the land, that we might keep it safe. Pitcairn aimed to encourage diplomacy, which you cocked up thoroughly enough to start a goddamn war. And Hickey? George Washington is a wretched leader. He's lost nearly every battle in which he's taken part. The man's racked with uncertainty and insecurity. Only look at Valley Forge to know my words are true. We're all better off without him. Look, much as I'd love to spar with you, Benjamin Church's mouth is as big as his ego. You clearly want the supplies he's stolen. I want him punished. Our interests are aligned. Hmm. I don't know about that. What do you propose? A truce. Perhaps... Perhaps some time together might do us good. You are my son, after all, and might still be saved from your ignorance. What? I can kill you now, if you prefer. Oh, he's threatening me. Connor, don't let him threaten you. Excellent. Shall we be off? Do you even know where Benjamin Church has gone? I'm afraid not. I'd hoped to ambush him when he or one of his men returned here. 
It seems I'm too late. They've come and cleared the place out. I may be able to track him. Yo, seeing these two together, actually talking, it's creepy. It's really creepy. I never expected this to happen. There was a wagon here, slowly weighed down as they loaded the supplies. I thought he would like show up at the end of the game and he'd be like, oh, I want to kill you. And then we'd have to fight him or something, but we're seeing him now. Our tracks in the snow. The snow has obscured the tracks, but enough remains that we can still follow. Does my dad not have this skill? I was pretty sure Hatham was pretty good at tracking people down too. Just my look. Going to freeze to death if I don't get this fixed. Are you Ben Church's man? Well played. <laughs> Oh my goodness, Connor. Can we get him? Yeah, we're getting him. Got him. It was not wise to run. What do you want? Where is Benjamin Church? I don't know. We was riding for a camp just north of here. It's where we normally unload the cargo. Maybe you'll find him there. Oh! You did not have to kill him. Let's not waste time with all this pointless banter. Go catch up with the rest of Church's Ben. Infiltrate that camp of theirs and see what you can discover. And what about you? Never you mind. Just do as I ask. Okay. Uh. Yeah, what is he gonna do? I don't like this. Our dad is mean. He was nicer when we were playing as him. Uh oh. Shivering and starving out there. It's a hard way to go. All they need to do is raise the white flag. They should have done that a long time ago. All this fight serves no purpose. The crowd's sure to win in the end. Waste all those ah. The crown's gonna win. What a joke. We'll see about that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no! Jump! Oh my god, I barely caught up. What's this guy doing? Crap. Oi, where's the foreman? Oh, we gotta move, we gotta move. We've gotta be super careful though. Oh, look at this guy here. Okay. So far, so good. You sure about this? Not my business to be sure or not sure. I just do as church asks. If you're so concerned, take it up with him. Is he here? 
<laughs> of course not. He's not I here. In New York, the last I heard, trying to keep a low profile. What on account of him not wanting to go back to jail and all? Dang it! We thought we were gonna see him here. He's not here. All right, I need. Aha. Look what we found. <gasps> he was creeping around the camp all suspicious like. Oh no. Must be a Yank spy. Nah, he's something else. Something special. Isn't that right, Haytham? Church told me all about you. And you should know better than this. <clears throat> You're not really in a position to be making threats, are ya? Oh, not yet. <laughs> Dude, I love him low key though, man. I miss him. So I let him get beat up a little bit. Yeah, why not? He kind of deserves it. He's been a, a horrible father. You know, he abandoned me for a long time. My mom's dead. Does he even send me anything for Christmas? I don't know. I think he might have missed a couple birthdays, a couple of Christmases, maybe a Hanukkah or two. Okay, I think we should save him now. Let's go. Oh, hi there. Let's go. Okay, we woke up the whole base. Once you've dealt with these cops, meet me in New York. What? Oh. You mean to just leave now? Now? Again? If you can't handle a couple of mercenaries. Then we've really no business working together. Oh! Oh, really? But I just saved your butt! You want me to sit here and fight 13 mercenaries and you got caught by two? Sir, I'm getting, ow. I'm getting torn up. Dad, come back. I need you. I know one of them's gonna attack me from behind. Oh, maybe not. No, 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 no. Oh my God. I know I have to break his defense. It's so hard to do sometimes. There it is. Finally. No. Guys. No. Okay. We're good. Okay, when you fight like more than one of those kinds of guys, the ones that can counter you, it gets kind of tough. I be kind of sweating. Okay, just a little bit. It's a little sweaty. All right, so we need to leave here and we need to go to New York. See where my dad went. Oh, we can just fast travel here. Hmm. It is kind of interesting working with my dad, though. One month later? Whoa, whoa, what? One month? Random time skip. Oh, father and son. Evening, Connor. I see you made it here in one piece. <laughs> Yeah, one Recovered month later. From beating them? Benjamin Church is held up on an abandoned brewery on the waterfront. We should be done with this by sunrise. Good. I would like to have those supplies returned as soon as possible. Of course. I wouldn't want to keep you from your lost cause. Come along then. Follow me. Wait, what in the hyperbolic time chamber is this game sometimes? Like, literally. Last time we saw him, we had to beat up 13 mercenaries, right? And next thing you know, it, it, it time skips one month later. 
when we fast travel. And then he's like, yeah, so, uh, how are those mercs a, a month ago? <laughs> He's pretty good. He still got it for an old man. His hair's a little gray, but he's doing all right. I wonder who's a better fighter, him or Connor? Tell me something. Mm hmm? You could have killed me when we first met. What stayed your hand? Curiosity. Any other questions? What is it the Templars truly seek? Order, purpose, direction. No more than that. It's your lot that means to confound with this nonsense talk of freedom. Time was. The assassins professed a far more sensible goal. That for peace. Freedom is peace. Oh no. It's an invitation to chaos. Only look at this little revolution your friends have started. I have stood before the Continental Congress and listened to them stamp and shout. All in the name of liberty. But it is just noise. And this is why you favor Lee? He understands the needs of this would-be nation far better than the Jobanels who profess to represent it. <laughs> it seems your tongue has tasted sour grapes. Oh! The people have made their choice. And it was Washington. Not the grapes! People chose nothing. It was done by a group of privileged cowards seeking only to enrich themselves. They convened in private and made a decision that would benefit them. Oh, they might have dressed it up with pretty words. But that does not make it true. The only difference, Connor, the only difference between myself and those you aid is that I do not feign affection. Okay. He thinks he's preaching. But he's not. So, uh, this is Daddy Issues the game. <laughs> this is <laughs> this is the game where fathers try to learn how to be fathers. I mean, we hope. We, we hope for the best for them, you know? And we have Desmond's dad. He kind of sucks. Then we had uh, Clay's dad. He sucked for a minute there until the end. And then he figured out that he kind of did love his son. So, I guess Desmond's dad's going to go through the same arc. And now, Haytham's probably going to go through the same art. How come all these assassins have bad dads? I wonder how good Altair and... Ezio were as dads. Ezio seemed like a good dad. Church, you clever bastard. What is it? I was hoping I could wave you past the guards, but he's replaced most of them with men I don't know. Hmm... Well, I should be able to pass without arousing suspicion, but you... No. We do this together or not at all. Right. Then what do you propose? I will find a guard who is off duty and take his uniform. Very well. I will wait here then. Of course you will. Oh, I'm sorry. Would you like me to come along and hold your hand, perhaps? Provide kind words of encouragement? Bro, calm down. I need to go over here. So, I mean, can like, can brown men enter this building? Like, is church, I mean, I, how well could Connor disguise himself? What is he going to disguise himself as? We're going to get detected for sure. We're cooked. Oh, wait, what? Did that take his clothes? It did. That should suffice. Follow me. Hold, strangers. You tread on private property. What business have you here? The father of understanding guides us. You I recognize, not the savage. I was about to say. He is my son. 
Oh? Tasted of the forest fruits, did you? Off you go, then. Okay. The character development is kind of juicy. It, you, I was just saying, like, how is he going to disguise? I mean, he's brown. And he looks like a Native American. I mean, like, you can't really disguise yourself. I mean, look at you. But, hey. I guess we found out how we got in here. It's locked. Give me a moment. Must be strange for you, discovering my existence as you have. I'm actually curious to know what your mother might have said about me. Always wondered what life might have been like. Had she and I stayed together. How was she, by the way? Dead. Murdered. You didn't know that? What? I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, you're sorry. I found my mother burning alive. I'll never forget her face as she sent me away. Charles Lee is responsible for her death by your order. And you're sorry. That's impossible. I gave no such order. I spoke the opposite, in fact. I told them to give up the search for the precursor site. We were to focus on more practical pursuit. It is done. And I'm all out of forgiveness. Hmm. All I gotta say is... Maybe you should have been Benjamin a dad. Church. You stand accused of betraying the Templar Order and abandoning our principles in pursuit of personal gain. In consideration of your crime, I hereby sentence you to death. No! Oh! You're too late. Church and the cargo are long gone. And I'm afraid you won't be in any condition to follow. We've chosen to uh -oh. stand with the victor. It's Britain who will win this war. You always did prefer principles of profit. Perhaps that's why your little kingdom started to crumble. What the heck? This guy's nuts. It was a nice dream you had, but a dream is all it ever was. Look at the half free fight like some feral dog. Oh, is that what it is? Down. Oh, get him! What other weapons I got in here? Hold on. What, what else we got? We got an officer. Don't let him officer sort out. Get him! The Indian too. This man set a feral Take dog. Him down. Ooh. That one, and he's half free. That's what we're all doing. Nah. Dude, they, they were wrong for that. Yep. Go ahead. And sit, sit yourself down. You too. There we go. You saw that double team move right there. Where is church? I'll tell you anything you want. Only promise that you'll let me live. Are we going to let this one live? You have my word. He left yesterday for Martinique, took passage on a trading sloop called the Welcome, loaded half its hold with the supplies he stole from the Patriots. That's all I know, I swear. Oh, well, he did. You promised. And he kept his word. Let's go. That is true, he did. Uh oh. Did I just save my father? Connor. Do I get good sun points for that? Where's he going? We need to get out of here. You don't say. <laughs> As he's already almost gone. Oh my goodness. This is kind of cool. Is not the time for 
I'm not sightseeing. So close yet so far. Woo! You guys saw that vault animation? I think it's fire. I've done it a few times. Get back here, traitors! Uh oh. Oh, how I'll enjoy making you pay for your betrayal. Did church pay you well? Were you rewarded handsomely? And what good does your gold do you now? Oh, wait. Is he being held up? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, let me take my time over here. <gasps> Help him up, Connor. Help him up. That's your dad. That's two times. I'm saving your behind. See if you can find something to pry it open. Connor? What are you up to? Oh, no, don't do that. There's no way of knowing what's on the other side. Church is at least a day on us. We must move quickly for to catch him. I have a ship we can use. Meet me on the pier when you're ready. This game is so good, man. I smile every time I play it. So great. It's just like moments like that just make me so happy. All right, I'm just making sure we don't have a homestead mission down here. Shall we? We shall. Oh, I got to do all the work. Of course. Why don't we take the uh, Aquila? I'm taking this little boat. I told you this was a poor heading. Church is surely days ahead of us now. Uh, I'm just playing. We guess we are. Let's Have go, boys. In the boy. He's yet to disappoint. Well, the bar's not been set very high now, has it? Can you shut up We're and enjoy the ride? Than you think, Father. I'm having a good time. Look how well I'm turning this thing. It actually looks really realistic the way he's turning the wheel. That's pretty awesome. Let's do full sail. Oh wait, sorry. Hit the wrong button. Uh oh. Is it the welcome? Aye, and she's dropped anchor. Approach the ship. Bring us in for a closer look, son. All right. It seems the ship has been abandoned. The church always was a slippery little bastard. Whoa! 
We're at full sail right now. Go going half sail so I can turn. Full sail time, baby. It'd be so cool if you could see whales in the water and stuff. Like dolphins. That'd be hot. All right, yeah, we're going to have to go to half sail. Someone with more experience should take the wheel. No, I'm just fine. Look at this. Have you seen anyone better than me? How is it? You came to captain a ship given the way you say. What are you talking about? We haven't hit anything. Everything's fine. I'm just sailing, bro. Oh, okay, we got a problem. Hurry, son. We won't get a second chance at this. Oh, crap. Oh, oh, oh my God. <laughs> Dude, hate them, got down. Dude, that almost hit hate them. Oh my gosh. That was a jump scare, bro. All I saw was a cannonball flying towards it's the deck. You want him to escape. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, we're good. We're good. Don't worry, guys. I'm pretty good at this. Can the ship Let's go, go this no way. Faster? Yeah, the ship's going just... It's going fast, all right? Chill. That sailing is tough. Determining when to switch speed, to... Connor, we need more speed. Got the speed, I got the speed. She's passing between the cliffs, boy, and the Aquila's too big to follow. We need to go around. Ooh. God damn it. We're going to lose him. What other choice have we? Those rocks would crush us. Yeah, we're cooked if we go through there. The current here is swift. We still have a chance. Let's go. I like me some swift turret or current, whatever you call it. Let's do it. Okay. 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 Prepare. Prepare. You guys prepared? You ready? Shoot it. Woo! Shoot that. No. How do you, uh. Okay, yeah, that's how you do it. Select a chain shot? Destroy their mass. Stop him, Connor. Okay, well. Whoa. Whoa. That was kind of cool. We're not, we're not, we're not. Full sail, full sail. We need some speed. Oh, wait. Okay, this is it. Oh, baby, we got him. Dang! You should have listened to me. What are you talking about? He's nearly We're just fine. We got a board now. How do we board? How do we board? Oh, here we go. Men, prepare to board. What the? What are you doing? What are you doing? Ending this. Ah! I'm so sick of this. What? You can't do that. Bro, this man, he wasn't there when we were building this boat. What the heck? Secure the ship. Hook us in. Bring her close. Two arms. Two arms. Man 
Time to swivel! Cover from the quarter deck! Secure the F-line! Oh, that's cool. Here I go. Oh, yeah! I'm a true pirate. Look at this. <gasps> Let's go. I need to get below deck. Who knows what madness my Where are you running to? Ends. Mr. Glitch? Why are you running? Nope. Too late. Ooh. Imagine taking a bubble off to the neck. I mean, to the back of the head. Ooh. I've never seen him do that. That was new. God. Okay. Whoa, where'd you come from? All right. Let's do this, guys. Oh, I can't. I can't jump up there. But I can do this. Let's get him. There you go, Connor. Yes. Okay, what's gonna happen? Bro, this is high. I'm here. Hold on, move. Where's Haytham? Where's Church? Empty. What has Church done with the cargo? The heck? my way through your nasty little tricks and traps clever some of them anyway i'll give you credit for that and for the quietude with which you pulled it off we had a dream benjamin a dream you sought to destroy and for that my fallen friend you will be made to pay oh wow <clears throat> No. No. Enough. We came here for a reason. Different reasons, it seems. Beat that man silly. Where are the supplies you stole? That's cute. Stab that man. That's real cute. I ask again. Where are the supplies? <laughs> On the island beyond. A waiting pickup. But you've no right to it. It isn't yours. No. Not mine. Those supplies are meant for men and women who believe in something bigger than themselves. Who fight and die that one day they might be free from tyranny such as yours. <laughs> are these the same men and women who fight with muskets forged from British steel? Who bind their wounds with bandages sewn by British hands? How convenient for them. We do the work. They reap the rewards. You spin a story to excuse your crimes. Facts. As though you're the innocent one and they the thieves. It's all a matter of perspective. There is no single path through life that's right and fair and does no harm. Do you truly think the crown has no cause? No right to feel betrayed? You should know better than this. Dedicated as you are to fighting Templars, who themselves see their work as just. It's just, yeah. Think on that the next time you insist your work alone befits the greater good. Your enemy would beg to differ, and would not be without cause. I think that one got Connor thinking. Mm. You did well. His passing was a boon for us both. 
Come on. I expect you'll want my help retrieving everything from the island. I guess. I mean, I'm kind of good. And I don't think we need you anymore. I mean, we did the mission. That's all we needed to do. Sequence nine. That means we're getting close to the end of the game. The DNA shows 12 sequences. I have been reunited with my father, but I do not yet know if this bodes well or ill. Same. Our goals are aligned, at least so far as independence is concerned. But he continues to defend Charles Lee, the man who murdered my mother and burned my village. Yeah. Still, he makes a point about Washington and those who back him. I hear much talk of freedom and equality, but it seems one must be a landed white man to benefit. Or mm. someone like me. Talk to him. Surrey. What role for us in this new world? Is my father right then? There is so much I must consider and so little time in which to do it. Welcome back. And how was Martinique? Achilles, I... I owe you an apology. It was wrong of me to say the things I did. Your words were harsh, Connor. But there was also truth there. I failed the order, allowed the Templars to take control. But now their hold is weakened. Which makes me believe there's a chance for peace. Imagine what might be accomplished if we were to unite. Why the change of heart? Hey! Where is this coming from? You've met your father, haven't you? I do yes. not claim to trust the man or even like him. But I would be remiss to ignore this opportunity. Haytham may listen, but will he understand? And even if he does, will he agree? Even he must admit that we can achieve more together than we do alone. I assume you're off to find him. Yes. He doesn't like this. I ride for New York to see what might be done. I wonder how Achilles feels about this. He doesn't seem to like it. I'm a little worried. I mean, this is what Desmond and his dad were talking about earlier um, when we did the last mission out of the Animus. Because Desmond just talked about, like, have they ever tried to unite the Assassins and the Templars? And his dad's like, yeah, they tried a couple of times. I guess this might have been one of those times. Uh-oh. All I can say to that is, uh-oh. What's going on here? He said she will like it. Oh, there's Miriam. Got oh her. my, bro. What are you doing? Give it First, to her. What are you doing out here? I want to give Miriam a knife. Maybe you come with me? Of course. What is keeping you? Yeah. I'm nervous. I am certain she will love the blade you made for her. I mean, we did what say that I about doing? the flowers, too. Giving a woman a knife as a gift? It's so stupid. This is something she will appreciate and use. Ugh. I made the stupid thing. I might as well give it to her. Bro, just give her the dang knife before I slap you. <laughs> Seriously. All right, come on. You, you coming? Why do I gotta, I had to get you the gift. Now I gotta walk you to her like a dog. Come on, puppy. Scrappy do. Ah. Hello, Miriam. Hello, Norris. Hello, Connor. I'd love to stay in chat, but I promised Ellen a bale of furs this week and I'm not even close to making good. I need to get out into the bush right away. Two hunters are better than one. I can help if you like. Would you? I'd be much obliged. 
I, uh, I bring something for you. Maybe uh, it will help? I really must get moving. I will thank you properly when I get back. Until then... Oh, my man! Meet me at my northernmost hunting blind after you take your first skin. At first, I didn't think she liked it, but hey, I think she might have liked it. Uh, hello. What the heck? What's going on here? <laughs> Hunt a wolf? Well, come on. Where'd the other one go? Climb up a tree and scan the area. Oh, we got to go over, the, over there. Connor, you out there? Oh, wait. Did she find one? Oh, crap. She's fighting with somebody. Oh, okay. She got some moves. Connor, need some back. Okay, let me go. Connor, you out there? You know I got her, right? She might like me instead of Norris, low key. Unless he jumps out of nowhere and saves her, that'd be kind of dope. Connor, need some back. Bloody hell! Not him. He said not him. Oh no. The time for forgiveness has passed. Oh, you're cooked. Please don't kill me. I'll never come back. It's too late. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's too late. I'm... I won't come back again. I swear it. I mean, you can swear all you want. That don't mean nothing to me. Dragon kick that pool. That lick spittle might have gutted me. Lick spittle from Norris, it would seem. Indeed, I must make sure to thank him properly. <laughs> what just happened? I just dragon kicked somebody off a of a side uh, off the side of a cliff, and then she comes out of nowhere talking about some lick spittle. What is that? <laughs> lick spittle. All right, here we are. Okay, hey, I like that. Is that for me? It's kind of spiffy. Yeah, Connor. I left some bolts of fine silk in my old home. They are very valuable, but I don't think it wise I return there. True. Someone might wind up dead. Yeah. I was hoping you could retrieve them for me if you had time. Hey, anything for her. Retrieve Ellen's fine silk. All right, we need to go down here. That's where she used to live. Okay. I bet you we're going to have to beat up the husband or the ex-husband or whatever he was. Uh-oh. Oh, God. He's looking for her. Let's see what he's talking about. She was my wife. A trollop for my wife. A trollop? Oh, he's drunk. No, not you. Hey, he ran. We might have to kill this guy, low key. Analyze the empty trait. The crate. Where is it? Oh. It's on the other side. Analyze. What was he doing? Did he steal the supplies? He did. What a. Why would he do that? That was so lame. Some guys are so lame. 
Oh, I'm supposed to go here. Yeah, let's go back to her. Sometimes I'm like, girls, why do you waste your time? Seriously. That dude had nothing good coming for him. I wish we would have beat him up real quick. I can't stand drunks. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Hold up. I thought that was a mannequin at first. I found your bolts. Wonderful. I hope it wasn't too much trouble. Your husband was there, speaking ill of you. He ran off when he saw me. Oh my. That dirty, rotten bastard of a man would do something like that. At least you were able to come away with the only thing of value that remained there. Thank you, Connor. Aw. I'm about to compliment this game. The detail on the clothing, even for the NPCs, is really nice. Like, she had that scarf on, or whatever that was. And it was literally, like, moving. In this era of video Ooh. games, usually, 9 times out of 10, clothing is, like, plastic. It's, like, super glued on to characters. But on her, it actually looked really good. Wait, what's going on here? They're, like, all there. Alright, I guess we need to go there. Is everything alright? This is the end, right? Oh. Hello. Who's this guy? Excuse me. Might I impose upon the kindness in your heart to give bed and board to a weary traveler? Oh, traveler from where? Across an ocean. London. English! <laughs> Rest assured, I'm not the king's man. A great kindness. Bless you. We work hard for what we have here, old man. What is it you do exactly? I wish to provide God for those who seek his salvation, not spoon-feed his word to those who already have their own. An outlook not shared by the monarchy. Lord knows some of us have things to confess. Ollie and I have been missing our Sunday Mass. I'd like Maria to read the Bible. I'm sure if we all pitched in, we could build a church. If you'd be our pastor. Connor? Welcome, Minister... Father. Father Timothy. She just, like, got up and said... I... I'm trying to get her to read the Bible. Bless I definitely you. have the money. This will build a fine place of worship. I am... Good afternoon, Connor. Build your church. Now we have a priest and a church. Let's go. We're going to have a whole city. Let's get it. The homestead is thriving. I'm surprised we're still getting characters. I thought the tailor was going to be the last one. But I guess not. Oh, and then we got some more homestead missions. Oh, God. Not Prudence again? What the heck? What are they doing now? Oh wait! Connor, is she in labor? Take the Lord. Prudence, are you alright? What are Connor, you doing out here in the woods? Thank goodness! The baby's coming! We need to get you to Dr. White. No! I can't move! Take my horse! Bring him here! Go! The horse is gonna be better? Oh, you you want me to go get him. Got it, got it. I thought she was going to get on the horse with me. I was like, I don't think that's going to work. Oh my God. It's about to happen. 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 Prudence. She's about to have her baby. Where's her husband at? I can't remember his name. Dr. White, come with me now. What's wrong? Prudence is in labor in the forest. In the forest? What in bloody hell is she doing out My there? man was moonwalking. He was so excited. Does not matter. 
We need to get water. Now? Yes! Oh, we gotta get Warren? Crap. That, that was his name. Warren, are you here? Warren! Homie, you ready? What, what's going on? Hello? We're here. Over here. What's the trouble? Where is she? What the? Tell me how she seemed to you. In great pain. She could not move herself. Was she pale? Was there blood? Not that I saw. What the heck? Might be we have some time. We must hurry. The white man just took the horse and he said, hey, black man, you can run. <laughs> what? Hey. <laughs> what is this? I thought he had his own horse. Why'd he take Warren's horse? Oh, these idiots. Oh, my goodness. Come on, you take the black man's horse. Now y'all can't follow. Come on. Come on. Faster. Okay, she's right here. Hello, doctor. I think I can manage at the moment. Is she all right, doctor? No, she's not all right. She's having a baby and here by the looks of it. I guess we're doing it here on the stump. Yes. Looks to be in fine health as well. Has a good set of lungs on him. <laughs> no, I don't mean to rush you, but we need to get both you and... Does he have a name yet? Hunter. Aww. I wonder if we're gonna meet that character? In the future? I don't know. Get me a doctor. That would be cool. If like in a future game, they're like Hunter and we're like, hey, hold on. I know your mom too. And your dad. And the doctor. The help with the labor. Give birth to you. All right, what's the next one? Lance? I can't remember this guy. Oh, he was the wood guy. Okay. I don't mean to be a bother, but I wanted to ask you something. When my cars went up in flames, I lost most of my tools. I've got some spares back at my shop in Boston, but as you know, I'm not really welcome around there. I thought if it wasn't too much trouble, you could help me retrieve them. I guess. Why well, I gotta do what everybody's would you stuff? Have me do? Watch my back while I gather them. Meet me in Boston at my old shop. All right, we can do that. Hey, do everything for these people, huh? All right, let's go to Boston. All right, I'm almost there. I see him right there. Connor. Good to see you. Why does he need me with him? Somebody gonna fight him? Been trying to avoid eye contact with my old neighbors. So far, so good. Not so worried now you're here. How are you doing otherwise? Oh, all right, I suppose. Things never really go as planned. But that's life. Yeah, really? that's true. How do you mean? You know... You make a plan and it all goes awry and nothing gets better, only slightly different. Sounds like you have had a string of misfortune. It will pass. I love that, Connor. Always thinking positive. What are you doing here? Sweeping my steps, if it please you. Since when are these your steps? 
Since I bought them three weeks ago. From who? From who? Yeah. The owner via his apprentice. Owner shipped off out of town. What's it to you? I am the owner. Not anymore, mate. Sorry. Better sort things out with your apprentice. He's often at the pub over there, but I'm sure you already knew that. Patrick. What the heck? So his apprentice sold his shop? Oh my god, my man is hustling. Patrick, what's up? Lance! Patrick! What gave you the right to sell my shop? Well, you were run out of town. I thought you'd never come back, so I sold it all. The shop, the tools. It's rough luck. <laughs> anyway, it's been great chatting, but I must be off. Have a nice life. Hey yo! Hey yo! What? What? Rot! Tools are a woodworker's lifeblood. He'd never <laughs> sell them. I bet he's got them stashed somewhere. And then we follow him. <laughs> that was the most savage thing I've ever heard anyone do. That man said, "Hey yo, I sold your house. I sold your business. I sold your tools." Tough luck. Sorry about your luck, bro. <laughs> Have a nice life, though. <laughs> what? This guy is nuts, bro. He deserves his beat for that. Please let me beat his butt. Please. Seriously, bro. He deserves it. There's no way he did that man like that. Oh, crap. He's going to be sick. I cannot believe the savagery. Who is Patrick in Assassin's Creed 3? <laughs> he did not care at all. <laughs> he said, man, that, that kind of sucks, man. <laughs> not a sorry, not a nothing. Man, that kind of sucks. <laughs> I can't believe somebody would do something like that to you, man. Dang. That's unfortunate. Well, have a good life. Have a good one. Please don't turn around. Okay. Oh. All right, he's going in there. Is that where he lives? Oh, now he's running. Load these in the cart come nightfall and be in New York. Free of this rubbish for good before the month is out. Wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's coming. Oh, now he's moving this way. Okay. We're just going to steal it. Nice. Well, that's something at least. Thank you. I still can't believe he sold my shop. I'll see you back at the homestead. So is that it? Like, it's just really is just sorry about it. Like you're out of luck. Your house, is, your 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 shop's just screwed. Are you in need of a first? That's terrible. That is not fair. Let me see if I did them all. I've definitely gotten some good laughs from these homestead missions. Not only did I get to see Connor with his awesome personality helping out people, but I also got to... Connor! What's happening? The final straw? No! Ellen's dullard of a man is trying to break down her door with his mates. We're on our way to stop it. What? What's going on up here? Oh, this guy. Oh, I stabbed him. No, he deserves that. Screw that. No, we don't. No, no, you cannot punish me for that because this guy deserved to die. F this guy. F this guy. He deserved to get stabbed in the back for how he's been treating that lady and her daughter. All right, I guess we're using our fists here. Get 
Hello. Yeah, leave him alone. Put him to sleep. As he deserves to be put. Where's that guy going? If you come near her, I'll tear you apart. Who are these guys? What are they trying to do? They're trying to kidnap her daughter? Was he about to sell his daughter off to these guys? What kind of weird stuff's going on here? I'm trying to figure that out. Ellen and Maria are free of you. I say so. The Just people kill behind him. me say so. Believe me when I tell you, if I ever see you on this land again, I will end you. You can have them. Trash, man. Literal trash. Thank you. All of you. Nobody has ever stood up for us before. We protect our own, Ellen. This is my home now. I'll find a way to show my gratitude to you all. I promise. Well, that's nice. Look at, look at him limping in the back. Ooh, I wish I could go there. Smack him right in the back of the head. Clothesline him. Level three clothing and capacity upgrades. I actually need that bad. I should probably go craft some stuff. Okay, guys. So we upgraded some space. We got some pouches and such. So we're looking good on that end. What's up, Miriam? The wedding? Who's getting married? Not you and Norris. Whoa! Norris, what are you doing? She said yes! Miriam, we are getting married! I told you not to touch him, Norris. Is it true? <laughs> yes! <laughs> so now what? that you've been told, might I have a word? We have much work to do. Of course, what would you have me do? Accompany me to the inn. I have business there. How much time has passed? Am I going to be a best man? I better be the best Norris man. Who else would be the best man? I got to be the best man. Miriam knows not where her father is. And they were hopeful that you might act his part at the ceremony. I am not familiar with colonial wedding customs. It means you will walk with her during the ceremony and give her to Norris as her father would. I would be honored. Wonderful. On to other business. Aww. Our weddings are complex beasts and require many hands working together to execute. We'll need Warren and Prudence to provide food, Ellen to make them appropriate clothes, Big Dave to smith wedding bands, me to conduct the service, and Oliver and Corinne to host a banquet. We can do that. That is a lot. That is we'll a lot. start here. A few days later. Now, where's this wedding going to be at? I guess that's a good question. Is today the big day? Connor, everything seems to be in order for the big day. It is. Except uh, I can't find Miriam. Uh, I'm certain she's making sure all is perfect. I will find her, my friend. What if she's getting cold feet? What if she doesn't want to do it anymore? Wait, was she inside? Yeah. Yeah, I think she's downstairs. Or she could possibly be upstairs. Maybe nobody would go down here. Or where she might be? The flowers are on the ground? This is over here. Her mirror? Why would her mirror be here? Oh, she did. That's kind of awesome that Connor has powers like that, huh? What? I, th 
think she's nervous. That would make sense. They're getting married super fast though. She wants to marry you, mate. What? Who is that guy? Was he talking to me? Yeah, there she is. She's up there. Leave me be. Oh no. Why do you run? Leave me be. I know housewife. Whoa, Nobody whoa. thinks you are one. How did I lose her when I just got over here? Game, really? Okay, let's go this way instead. Maybe this is a better way. Why do you run? Leave me be. I'm no housewife. Nobody thinks you are one. Yeah. What all this means? What do you mean? She didn't look very happy. Oh, yes, this is so cute. Oh, look at Norris. He cleans up well. Hey, he got the rags on, though. Homegirl couldn't tailor him up a suit. You may kiss your bride. He looks significantly older than her, though. But it's still cool. I like it. I just like to see people happy. Yes! Dance, 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 dance. Aww. That's adorable. Look at everybody here. And my little brother Joseph tossed him in the river. <laughs> <laughs> His laugh. That is contagious. Connor, we were just recalling our weddings. Spirited events, I take it. <laughs> Spirited? <laughs> More like brawls than unions. Brawls! <laughs> <laughs> calling Joe Little is like calling me Big Terry. Boy's a bloody mountain. My younger brother had a blow up with one of Terry's cousins. A minor disagreement about some lass's dance card. I'll just say Terry's cousin sobered up right quick when it was over. Poor boy. Sitting there sopping wet on a stump while Joseph spun around with the object of his affection. <laughs> it was good for him. Letting good things don't come easy. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> That's funny, boys. Yeah, for sure. Hey, where's the baby at? Hey, let's go. I like this right here. We got... We got all the black people together hanging out, drinking. That's cool. My brothers and sisters. Hello, Connor. Enjoying yourself? I am. It is nice to see everyone together and happy. Look at those two kids. It's a lovely sight. Norris is one of my best friends, and he couldn't have found a better woman. I'm proud of him. Sometimes people are just right for one another. Norris and Miriam are a match made in heaven. Or a match made by Connor. Isn't that right? I only helped Norris muster his courage. The rest came naturally. <laughs> Excuse me, everyone. Yeah, sure. Thank you. I won't keep you long. I would like to present something to Connor and you all. I once said I'd find a way to show my gratitude for your courageous actions in my defense. And this is what I give you today. Is it a flag? It looks like it. It's in the shape of one.
This flag is a symbol of our strength and unity. And I would hope you'd all be proud to fly it high above your homes and shops. I'll happily make one for each and every one of you, if you so desire. But this one is for you, Connor. <gasps> oh. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. After all, all his hard work. A sweep. That's really nice. Father Timothy will offer moral guidance to all homesteaders. We need that moral guidance, baby. All right, that's another one for the books. All right, what's going on over here? Corner. What you doing, doctor? Might I have a word? What do you think Slander. of our little plot of land, doctor? It's quite beautiful. I'm grateful you found me. But to be truthful, people outside our community still avoid me like the bloody plague. It baffled me for a time, but then a courier delivered this to me. What does it say? Before you found me, the British had demanded I not take oh. patriots nor what their the? supporters. I refused, so they set about destroying my business. This tells me their smear campaign is still very much in effect. If things don't change, I may be forced to leave. That's not good. We need you here. I will do what I can to end this defamation. You might start by finding the courier who brought this to me. He works out of Boston. Okay. I can go do that real quick. Let's see if we can find this courier. I hope we don't have to tail him and we can just like beat him up or something. Find informal favor in the new lighter caracos I am here on behalf of Dr. White. It is time the campaign against him came to an end. Who is selling the papers that slander him? Well, you won't find argument from me. Doc Lyle healed my leg good as new. The pamphlets are being distributed by a few paper boys around Boston. Paper boys? All right, I guess I gotta find them. Oh, this paper boy. Come here, son. Take that if you're giving it. Yeah, I got all the money for y'all. Oh, what? White death? That's terrible. Thanks, mister. It's less than I get for this, though. Have you guys ever played the Fable games? The kids look like the kids off the Fable games. Oh crap! This guy. It's not much, but very kind of you. Hey, these fools pop up. Didn't I just bribe you? I'm gonna give you more money. Not much, but very kind of you. Where is the man printing these pamphlets? Look, mister, there's a man who pays me to hand these papers out. So long as he's doling the coin, I'll be doing what he asks. The overseer. Maybe he's in here somewhere? No. Oh, wait. Oh, no, this is just another one of those kids. Oh, there he is. I, I just found him. There he is. All right, let's uh, beat this guy up, I guess. Hi. Ooh. 
the uppercut. Jeez. You will not distribute these pamphlets any longer. Understood? Yeah, okay, I think he got that. No more slander coming from him. Hope will never die. Orale.